more screens, more uh, weather monitors. Hello, everybody. Keep uh, I love seeing them. Let me cut this off right quick and um, get back up here. Uh, they got storm chasers out now uh, here in Iowa. Yeah, so, uh, boy, this storm um, that we may see is, is not funny. So uh, they're getting prepared, I guess, for whatever it's going to bring. I hope it's not too bad. And it's coming in the middle of the night, and I don't like them storms in the middle of the night. And I don't think anybody does, because you can't keep an eye on them. You don't know what to expect. But now they've put tornadoes possible in these storms. So now we may have to deal with that, too. And if a tornado comes in the middle of the night, you just, you can't see it. You can't see it and you don't know where it's going to go, which direction it's coming in, unless you've got the weather going. And uh, I just hope the best for everybody. Boy, just uh, stay safe. If you've got anything outside that's loose and can fly around, you better bring it in the house. Uh, I talked to my daughter in Indiana and she has uh, flower pots, you know, hanging outside. And she's uh, getting them in right now. Uh, getting everything in and uh, everything that can be loose that can fly around or get damaged. You better go take care of it and bring it in the house the best you can. You know, and um, I don't know. This is kind of a surprise to me that this kind of weather. And I talked to the helpers that help me sometimes. And they said in September. I go, yep. Tornadoes, possible hail. I told my daughter, hey, baseball hail, but it's tennis ball hail and uh, golf by size. Golf size by hail. Yeah. And uh, so you put them two together, you actually get a baseball, don't you? <laughs> oh my gosh. But, oh boy. No, I wasn't counting on this at all. Uh, so I'm not going to probably do too much with this video. Um, I wanted to get into some cosmetics. Uh, the only thing that I have bought uh, over the internet stuff was that uh, Boom Boom. Boom Boom Cosmetics. I got three sticks of it in a kit. I can't use that. Oh no, it broke my face out. Terrible. Yes. And it looks so good in the advertisements. Goes on really smooth. It was so dry, I couldn't hardly get it on my face to begin with. And when I finally did put a little bit on my cheeks, and up on my forehead, and under your lip, down here on your chin, you know, and around and whatever. Boy, I tell you, it was only about two and a half hours, and I was going to the bathroom, washing that off real fast. With my Olay, oh yes. And the rash, it lasted about two, three days. And I had to keep putting cream on it. And I have some cream that I get for my uh, hypothyroidism rash. Um, yeah, it's, it's very bad. Um, I'm allergic to clothes. So that's why you'll always see me in a duster. Or a or, or muumuu, a real light muumuu. Yeah, uh, I can't uh, wear clothes. When I go to the doctor and to the hospital to get my blood work done, that's the only time that I have clothes on. Yeah. And boy, as soon as I'm done, I got to get home and get them off. Because if I don't, I'm in misery. Absolute misery. So, um, that hypothyroidism is, is something else also. And um, I don't know how I come down with it. I don't know how anybody comes down with it. Or hyperthyroidism. But I got to watch what I eat. Watch what I put on for makeup. Clothes if I have to go out. And my feet and legs stay swollen all the time. They're very painful to walk on sometimes. Um, so I can't have anything that's got sodium. Every time that I... Uh, pick up anything or have my helpers pick up anything from the grocery store they have to check the sodium content and if there's a lot lot of sodium in them uh, that's a no-no yeah 
I have these little miniature vegetables of carrots and green beans that I bought off of Amazon. Little miniature cans. Do you know how much sodium is in one of those? Almost 800 milligrams of sodium. So I have to take the lid off, pour them in a, in a uh, strainer, and I got to wash them. I have to rinse them off about three, four times to make sure I get all that salt, sodium residue off of them. Because if I don't, my feet swell up so Well, I can't wear shoes. No, there's another thing. Yeah, I can't wear shoes. When I go to the doctor, uh, I have to wear sandals if I can get them over the top of my feet. Yeah, so uh, it, it's, <laughs> you know, it just goes with getting old, you know. They just don't know what to do anymore. It's either this or that or whatever. Yeah, so I have to watch the sodium and I've got to watch the makeup. I've got to watch the clothes. You know, I have to watch the detergent that I wash my clothes in. The only type of detergent that I get by with is uh, uh, armor and hammer uh, washing powders or I make my own. Mm, excuse me and um, uh, I make mine out of uh, oh uh, these bars of soap they're out in the porch I could get up and go get them but I'll line them up someday and show you but you that make your own homemade laundry soap already have them you know and then you get the brightener the uh, oxyclean I think it's called or whatever and it only takes just one little tiny scoop for a whole load of clothes. Mine lasts me almost a year and a half to two years. I keep it in a tight sealed bucket when I get it all mixed up. And I use that. And if I don't get that, then I go ahead and get my Armored Hammer uh, laundry detergent. But then when it comes to rinse, I actually should rinse my clothes twice. Well, I can't pay my water bill then. Because the water bill goes way up. I mean, the prices are going up now anyway, so I can't do it. So I rinse them once. And uh, fabric sheets, I have to be very careful of the fabric sheets. Now, I can use Gaines fabric sheets. But if I get anything any stouter than that, like these, they have... Uh, uh, what do I want to say? Like flavors of uh, apple blossom, lavender, uh, anything like that. Mm -mm. No, can't have it. Can't do it. No. And it's just one thing after another. <laughs> you just don't know what to do anymore, do you? Well, I don't know. With this storm coming, um, my video on cosmetics will probably wait until tomorrow now because this will be my third video. But um, this weather scares me, you know, in September, you know, I, I tornadoes. Well, you know, tornadoes can happen any time of the year. Storms can happen any time of the year. And then come to find out, and I, I posted that one about Farmer's Almanac, 40 degrees below zero this winter, more snow. Oh. The lights and the gas are going sky high. Water's going sky high. Be sure you leave your cupboard doors open. When that temperature gets below, five below, open up them cupboard doors so your pipes don't freeze. Especially in mobile homes. Yeah. They, if them pipes aren't wrapped in heat tape, and I don't know why they don't make that a stable. That building a home, even a regular house, those pipes should be wrapped in heat tape. That helps a lot. That keeps them from thawing. I mean, from freezing. You know, it keeps them thawed. That should be a steady law when building a home. You must wrap those pipes up. But a lot of older homes, you know, now don't have, and the pipes are in the basement. But I just got a quarter of a basement. This house is a tiny house. But it's a little bit bigger than some of the tiny houses. But I still call it my tiny house. I got a quarter of a basement. 
and my water pipes are in where the furnace is. But I still open my cupboard doors. As soon as that zero hits, if I blow or whatever, I got them open. I don't want nothing to freeze here, and I just rent. But my landlord lives in another little city, another little town now, and um, it takes him a while to get here even to take the ice off the back porch roof, which uh, didn't get any uh, new shingles on it when they redid the roof because it leaks so bad. And um, my porch, I think I said before, gets soaked. When that ice starts to melt, it leaks in between the doors. Yeah, my, my inside door and my screen door, storm door. It leaks in there and it runs underneath the door and my porch is soaked. I have to work day and night, hour after hour, keeping it sopped up with newspapers and I use the doggy potty papers and then I'm out of doggy potty papers, but I try to stack up during the summer months so I don't run out. But uh, it's a mess. And now it's starting to leak in the front porch. And I told him about it, you know. <laughs> he says there's nothing they can do to fix that leak in the back porch. Now the top of the back porch where all that uh, inside is coming and rotting down rotting off I'm not going to spend no more money no it's up to the landlord I've been here 20 some years they raised my rent 40 bucks this year and then by the time the cola raise got Medicare took it I got left with seven dollars a raise seven bucks but I'm thankful for what I have and I probably pay the cheapest rent in the whole United States of America. Unless you're homeless, living in a cardboard box. God bless your hearts. I feel so bad for them this winter. How many of them are we going to lose that could be saved if they only had decent housing? You know? It's unreal. Well, I'm going to say good night now. And just keep on your toes. Stay safe, but if any tornado should come, you're not going to be able to see it. So I don't know. I guess if you got sleeping bags and you got a nice basement, I think the best thing to get through this tonight, if it's going to be this horrific, which nine times out of ten, it won't be. We'll, we'll pray it won't be. Because a lot of times, you know, I, I have a news thing that I look at a lot during the day and everything to check the humidity and all that stuff. And uh, sometimes they'll say, oh, you've got it coming and it's going to get you and blah, blah, blah. Nine times out of ten, we got two drops of rain and that was it. But be prepared. Always be prepared. I'd rather be prepared than not. God bless you all. Please stay safe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.